When Army engineers train, it's usually a two-for-one deal. They get to sharpen their skills and help others build projects at no charge. The 60th Engineer Company is learning how to create a landing zone and at the same time helping Fort Benning with its expansion efforts here on post. And this specific mission we're doing is clearing of four acres of land to help the red cockaded woodpecker migrate from the south of this tank trail to the north of the tank trail, allowing an armor school gunnery to be put in to help develop the maneuver center of excellence. You're not just building houses or putting in pipes, you know. This is also involved in what we do as engineers. So it's kind of fun and it's a learning experience for a lot of people to get out here and work with their hands. There are many ways to cut down trees and with all of today's technology, I couldn't help but wonder why these soldiers were not using heavy equipment or explosives. Chainsaws, axes, saws, um, a little bit of everything, uh, mostly manpower. Well, it's to give everyone exposure to all the tools that are used conventionally in clearing land. Um, if soldiers are deployed at hot spots in the world like Georgia where you know Russia just invaded or, or South America, there may be areas where you have to get in and clear for a helipad or an airstrip or things like that. And it may be days or weeks before mechanization or, or modern equipment reaches you. So to have training on more manual tools such as axes and saws are definitely helpful. Clearing land is no joke. Trees weigh thousands of pounds. It's hard labor and safety is critical. You work four or five man teams, maybe a little bit more, and everyone has to know what's going on at all times because you're dealing with, you know, a 2,000 pound tree and up, and you know, it could, it's very easily and very possible that somebody could get hurt out here. So teamwork is definitely, you know, the biggest factor out here in safety. Engineers also pour a lot of concrete, especially in theater, so they must stay on top of their masonry skills here at home. The last deployment, the 60th was on, was with the 19th Engineer Battalion. And what they did was crater repair, and what they would do is pour concrete, but it was mainly filling craters from IED blasts and things like that. Out there in the field downrange, uh, concrete placement and concrete structures is one of the main backbones of engineering, and construction engineering, vertical engineering, and what we do. Every building that goes up, every structure, there's concrete. I mean, you got a poor footer for everything, so concrete is very, very important when it comes to building any kind of structure. Today, these soldiers are building a concrete pad for equipment storage. Seems straightforward, but it's not. The 60th Engineer Company is going all out and leaving their mark on this project, literally. We just developed a new company logo. We had a lot of leftover material, so what we're doing is we're actually going to make the forms in the design of our company logo. We use some admixtures, dye cement, and uh, put that in the center of our pad. So when we're complete, we're going to have a 15 by 20 foot pad in the center of it, which we have an 8 by 8 foot company logo. Definitely adds ownership over you know who laid it, who designed it. Definitely adds a little bit of pride and Bruce morale, you know. It looks awesome, and once it's real finished, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be the envy of the motor pool. And just like their logos at the center of this concrete slab. Engineers are at the center of any building or rebuilding the Army takes on.